So you're probably wondering why I'm rehashing an old video that I made like over a year ago about the Lux encryption. And in that video, I used um, some GTK slash GNOME GUI tools to achieve the result of encrypting a thumb drive with Lux encryption. And two things, two things-ish uh, came about since I made that video. One, uh, I have a better understanding about how Lux works and how your computer mounts encrypted partitions. And uh, the other part, uh, besides the fact that I, I've learned things and I feel like I want to share those things with you, is that as much as GNOME is kind of dominating in the Linux desktop user space, it's not the only game in town. And a lot of power users who might be interested in encrypting uh, removable media, they might be using something not GTK based at all. Um, in fact, a lot of users have switched to these uh, tiling windows managers. I know tiling windows managers aren't anything new per se, but they have really blown up in popularity uh, uh, from my perspective. So um, enjoy this, um, I guess, new version of Lux encrypted devices, all in the command line version. All right, guys. Okay, so you get your little thumb drive, you pop it in your machine. Now I just formatted this drive so it should show up as blank. It's a blank little four gigabyte USB two thumb drive. So we go sudo lsblk, and here you see, so the device name is sda or sdb, and then you have her partitions. This is, this is an area where a lot of people get confused. So device name, if it has a number or a letter, or I guess just number, then that's the partition. So the thumb drive is sdb, the partition is sdb1. And as you can see here, more than one partition, more than one numbers. So you mount media, let's unmount the drive. So first thing we want to do, well, before I get too deep in it, because you don't format drives like every single day, it's easy to forget some of these commands. Make yourself a cheat sheet. A cheat sheet will make your life so much easier. I have my little cheat sheet that I'm going to be doing this video on. So hopefully I won't make too many mistakes. I mean, I'll still make some mistakes, but hopefully there'll be less. So the first thing we want to do is we want to F disk this thing. Pseudo F disk dev SDB. Now, again, we're not modifying the partition. We're modifying the actual drive. So we can print what partitions are available. There's one partition. We can delete that partition. We can make a new partition primary. Enter, 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 uh, delete the signature. Yeah, sure, sure, cool, 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 and write. Okay, so the drive is completely empty. We can double check. There, it's still right there. All right. So what we want to do now is we want to, well, first off, make sure you have uh, crypt setup. Crypt setup. Crypt setup. So to apt install. <laughs> install crypt setup. Um, if you don't already have that, I'm not sure what it is on arch based repositories, but I can't imagine it'd be too different to get that installed. Depending on your uh, distribution, it might already be in there. Okay. So pseudo crypt setup. Now the Lux commands are kind of weird. They're all lowercase except for the sub command, which is part of that command. I'm not sure why they do that, but it's going to be Lux format with a capital F. And we're going to point to SDB, the partition. All right. This is warning that it will overwrite all your data, which you, I mean, I'm hoping you're doing this as a fresh drive or one you've backed up recently. And then you are going to, you're going to rock this out. Capital Y E S. You want to enter a password. Sometimes this takes a few seconds. You're like, is it working? And like, I don't know if it's working, but it's working. It's just, it's encryption. It takes a little bit of, takes a little bit of effort the first time around. Take a little sip of our soda here. Hmm. Looks like we are done. Okay. So we have an encrypted partition with a password, but we don't have any formatting on this one. So we want to sudo 
sudo crypt setup and we want to lux open and this is going to map the encrypted partition to our map name so map names are like virtual pieces of hardware and this will mount the encrypted part not partition it's like a not quite a partition but it's like similar i i can't really describe the detail of what it is but we want to give it a name um so for example, I'm going to use the word crypt for the name. It can be whatever you want. It's just to show up where it's going to be in your mapping folder. And of course you have to enter your password to let it connect. It takes a few seconds sometimes. All right. So now we have a virtual device mapped to um, dev mapper map name. So if we go to say ls dev mapper you'll see there's crypt sitting right there, chilling. So now we can make a partition, ext4. That's the one I recommend. You can use, I think, xfat or all the other exts, but ext4 is gonna give you the best um, um, performance and, and functions. So dev, mapper, and we're gonna go to crypt. And you want to give it a title, capital, the dash capital L is how you give your partition of extension for a tag. This will be what shows up when you plug it into your USB port. This will show up as, and to confuse you, I'm going to call it crypt, but you know, I'm going to call it crypt drive, crypt drive. I like that. That's good stuff. So now we do that. It's building that out, creating the journal blocks. This takes a few seconds. I only have a four gigabyte. Uh, so it's not gonna be very fast. I mean, very slow, um, but it's a USB two, so it's not gonna be very fast either. Um, larger drives, you might have to go make a sandwich. Usually not too bad. Um, all right. So cool. So cool. So we have built the encryption scripted, uh, header. We have the inside that header. We have a partition. This, is, uh, extension four, and now we can unmount the encryption part by sudo crypt setup lux close. And we want to, that was script, the name of the mapper. Do that one and it should be solid. So let's unplug the thumb drive, pop that mamma jamma back in. And it's going to ask for a password. Take a second. And crypt drive is now a drive. Now there's a little weirdness with this that has something to do with more with um, extension four than it is the encryption. But if we, uh, we go to media crypt drive, um, like if I touch a file, test.markdown permission denied the stupid simple way to do this sudo um ch mod 777 crypt drive now we go crypt drive Oops. see <laughs> um and we can touch a file there and it shows up and it's good to go um yeah that's it and when you eject it, oh, <laughs> uh, eject anyways, because I'm in the terminal here. There we go. Eject it, pop it out, pop back in. I'll ask for your password. Oops, password. Oh, I saved the password, I guess. Yeah, it's good to go. Um, this will only work on uh, devices that they know the password to. And of course, because it's extension four, as of this recording date, it's not very easy to read this on Mac and Linux, which is a little uh, security from obscurity, but it's still security. And yeah. Okay, so hopefully this video was helpful, especially if you are a non-GTK user, and hopefully it gives you a little bit better understanding of the inner workings that make up um, encrypted hard drive mounting. Um, I'm going to try to have more things on this in the future. I'm going to look at some other encryption types because I'm just blown away by the technology that is 
at our fingertips, free software, which is awesome. So look forward to that. Um, leave a comment down below if you have any ideas for me to check out, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.